episode of Coffee and Careers with Miki Langus and my colleague David Levinson. We are the Adam Smith Business School Careers Managers. So today, David, we're going to be tackling the question for the love or the money. <laughs> <laughs> so this is something that sometimes students will present to us, they come to us and say, um, you know, I'm not really sure if I should go after a job for the money, for the what, what I'm actually going to earn, or if I should go after something that I really love to do, but perhaps it doesn't earn so much as well. Mm, yep. So should people consider doing something for the love or for the money? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think a great starting point is when you think about, if you think about like a Venn diagram with three mm -hmm. inter intersecting circles, and one is what are you passionate about? Mm -hmm. um, one is what are you good at? What mm -hmm. are your skill set? And the third one is what pays well. Mm -hmm. The kind of perfect point for that people are searching for very often is that intersection to mm -hmm. find what you're really passionate about, that you're skilled in, and that also pays well. Mm -hmm. But in reality, that can be challenging. Yeah. Um, some people get there right away. Mm -hmm. Many people will get there at some point in their career, but starting off, it might be not possible just to get that intersection right away, mm -hmm. but that is not um, a, a huge problem. Mm -hmm. um, it might be, I think, a, a case of thinking about how do you compromise on those three things? Yeah. What do you think? And I think that is an important point to consider is that actually it's not always a choice between the two. There is often um, a good point in the middle where actually you can get the right amount of money that you want with the sorts of jobs that are using your skill set and things that you're actually interested into. Yeah. And some of our students, um, perhaps in vocational degree subjects, are already kind of um, going into areas where, where they are perhaps going to be doing something that they're passionate about and perhaps it is uh, bringing in the, the level of salary that they you're actually seeking as well so I think you mentioned um, a, an important word there David it's kind of thinking about that sort of compromise mm -hmm. and I think for students um, my first point would be to actually think about what is really actually important to you yeah so actually to look at um, if you're looking at for the love or money how much um, money people want to earn is actually different and um, so what's a good salary to you might not be a good salary to your classmate so actually thinking about things like your lifestyle so where do you want to live um, you know, do you want to take holidays every couple of months? Uh, what is actually an important level of um, salary to you? And then thinking about, well, um, what is important to you in life? Is it perhaps uh, for some students that they really want to be involved in something where they're making a difference yeah. and perhaps be involved in public service? Um, and if you're going to be in those roles, straight away perhaps you're not going to earn huge salaries, yeah. but you could be doing something which is even more rewarding to you and actually giving you a lot of benefits in your life as well. Yeah, those are great opportunities and we do cer certainly see lots of Glasgow students who are interested in working in the not-for-profit sector, mm -hmm. voluntary and charity sector, public sector. And you can be a world changer and you can do some amazing things. But certainly so early on in your career, that those roles are not necessarily paying as, as well as some of the big graduate recruiters. Mm -hmm. But as you say, that it's really an individual choice. Mm -hmm. I think another interesting thing is we're seeing so many more um, students want to set up their own business, yep. be self-employed, mm -hmm. and that is a great example of following your passions, mm -hmm. using your strengths and your skills. But as everybody knows, when you set up a business, it doesn't always earn a lot of money initially, so that might be a compromise to consider as well. Yeah, but it's still something very worthwhile and something you're perhaps going to get a lot out of if you're following your passion and actually... Um, you know, starting that business idea. And it could be something that, um, you, you know, does go very far and does actually end up being very lucrative as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the key thing that I would say is that there, there is no right answer to this question. It's really kind of uh, reflecting on yourself and thinking about what's important to you. Yeah. Um, so one exercise that I've used with students before is actually perhaps thinking about your top six sort of values and actually distributing 30 points between them. So for example, you might say that um, making a difference um, is really important to you, so you're gonna give it 10 points. Um, and considering uh, with each of those six values, which, which things are more important to you and how much does that fit into for the love or for the money as well? That might help you yeah. to kind of really consider, you know, your values, what's important to you um, and, and how you prioritize um, the sort of work that you're gonna go for. Yeah, another issue I think is always for anybody to keep in mind is that these kind of decisions are not a one-off decision. Um, and what you choose now is not going to necessarily define the rest of your career. Mm -hmm. um, and finding that intersection of your passions, your skills and what pays really well, you know, that's it's not something you want to necessarily focus on mm -hmm. um, as a lifelong decision. Mm -hmm. You make each decision as it comes along mm -hmm. um, and starting off by, by following your passions is a, is a great place mm -hmm. to be. But uh, yeah, be realistic in your goals and know where your value in terms of your values 
where your compromises are. Yep, and I think we'll leave it on that, know where your compromises are to help you make that decision between the love or the money. So thanks again for joining me today, David. And if you haven't already, please give our video a like, comment and subscribe. And we hope to see you again next time on Coffee and Careers.